Hey everyone, Pastor Janer here with a short devotion. Our passage for today comes to you from Matthew chapter 13, verses 53 through 58. I'll be reading from the ESV version. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there. And coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many things or mighty works there because of their unbelief. Now, occasionally, when traveling from city to city, you might encounter or enter into a a city that takes great pride in one of their past hometown heroes. Uh, You might even see billboards or some sort of placard somewhere on the highway that that publicly um, recognizes or declares uh, a proud connection that they might have to their hometown hero. Perhaps you might even enter a place and see a list of state championships that that city is is proud of and and it's easy to see um, that that the communities take pride in success especially um, people who become famous after having lived in your community well it wasn't this way in the little town of nazareth Uh, when jesus came home performing miracles and, and proclaiming a profound and prophetic message the town got indignant He's just the carpenter's son. He's just the kid of Mary. This is someone that they knew they grew up with, and they they really didn't have a whole lot of affection for, really. And it's incredible that right before them, they had in the flesh, in the flesh, Jesus grew up right in front of them, right before their very eyes, and somehow, some way, they missed it. They missed him. And I think this passage is is a good reminder that, you know, just seeing someone or or hearing or just seeing and hearing isn't enough. It's not the same as embracing the truth. So church, I'm asking you, are you embracing the truth? Are you just mentally agreeing to certain facts about Jesus? Or are you actually embracing the truth of who he is? Are you living according to his will and for his good pleasure? I hope that you are. We want to let you know from Lakeside Church that we love you. We miss you. We hope to see you soon. Take care and God bless.